Hi everyone, back again to Sanwa Library. Before we continue to the video, don't forget to click subscribe, like this video, and also click the bell button to get a notification of my next video. Today in the weekend book talk session, I'm going to review one book that I read uh, at the end of the April called The Lady Alchemist. This is an ER, e -A -R -C, that I got from the Man 9 books and also the order itself, uh, which I previously in love with the cover. And then after I read the book, I love it so much. So here it is, The uh, Lady Alchemist. The Lady Alchemist, uh, which the order is Samantha Vitale. This is a genre. Uh, YA fantasy retelling with the publisher Man 9 Books and the publication date actually will be on 26th of May 2020. Uh, the book that I read is at the ebook version but later uh, when you pre-order the book you can get a paperback 300 pages that you can buy it on the Amazon or in the book depository. You can click the link below where you can get this book. And before I continue with the uh, review of this book, I want to give you a beware that this is a spoiler alert. I don't know whether there will be a spoiler. Actually, I tried to uh, make a review of spoiler free as best as I can. But yeah, I'm still putting the spoiler alert. I'm scared that this review will contain a spoiler. Continue with the summary of this book. I pick the summary, uh, the synopsis from the book reads, and I will uh, read it to you. In a land torn between magic and alchemy, Sefa is an exceptional alchemist able to bend rules in ways no one else can. But when a slip of the tongue lands her in prison with a mountain of straw, even she has to admit that she cannot transmit straw into gold. With the threat of a death sentence hanging over her, she is forced to make a deal with a conniving magician. Sefa escapes with her life. But at a cost, she has one year to alchemically create a body for the magician, or else her firstborn child will be his. As if as that line approaches, she uncovers a deadly secret. How can she save her country when the body she owes the magician will be used to destroy it? Yeah, this is the uh, synopsis that I got from the book Prince about the Lady Alchemist. You can visit the book Prince and search Lady Alchemist but by Samantha Finta. Uh, the summary of this book, that The Lady of Hemis, is a retelling of the classic story Rumpelstiltskin. This is a story about the journey of Sefa in a world of alchemy when someday she faced a difficulty. Uh, she must transmute a straw into gold. If she cannot transmute, uh, the death sentence looming over her and her father also. But this situation made her to deal with a magician that can help her to change the mountain of straw into a into goals with an exchange of her firstborn firstborn child within a year. So Sefa lives day by day with the burden of magic from the magician in a country uh, that forbid any magic while she has the chance to be the lady alchemist. Something that she actually always hoped for. But she was not alone. She made uh, some wonderful friends. She met Ruhan, Destry and Henrik which are students also in the Alchemy Institute where she uh, learned. And every day they learn together and practice together while Sefa always kept a secret research to create a body for the magician as the alternative of a first world child. So this is where it all begins. In Stalov is built, friendships are also made, but time is also moving very fast. Uh, to reach the end of the uh, how to say it? to reach the end of the contract between Sefa and also the magician. Uh, between the journeys, many secrets are uncovered in a land that everyone knows that magic and alchemy don't mix. And uh, I will review this book based on five categories: first is evaluation in the world building, plot and then the characters, the writing styles, and also the other aspects. Uh, this is based on my opinion only, based on what I like and what I dislike only, not to judge the book overall. So if you want to read this book based on what I like, it's very uh, nice. 
to know that you also like this book. So from the world building itself, I liked how Samantha built the world in alchemy. I never read about the alchemy before, maybe, <laughs> but I read fantasy, magic the most, but alchemy mixed with magic is uh, something new to read for me. At first, it was a bit hard to imagine what an alchemy was, because yeah, if I remember, I cannot remember that I have read any alchemy book before. But what made them so different with magic, besides using some chemical medium and so on. But then it was kind of cool how a weapon was first made by using a chemical. The story was also mostly did in an alchemist institute. My first thought was when to Hogwarts, but not full of magic. I always loved a book that took part in a school and in a library, which I also found in this book. Especially when the magic was around. And to me, the world of Sefa uh, was a bit dark fantasy, magic, and alchemy in a dark mode, I might say. It. Uh, well, this was not a horror fantasy. To me, this was not a horror fantasy because I don't like horror book actually. But something mysterious was surely happened in this book. So that's why I love the world building so much. I can learn new things about the alchemy itself and how they do that in the institute full of the alchemists. Who learn about alchemy and then found out about magic also itself in the school. What I like about the plot is that I found at least one plot twist in there. Yeah, uh, I can say that the plot is good if I found at least one plot twist. And I found a lot of plot twists in this book, even so many to me. There were uh, plot twists that I could not imagine at all. I did not see them coming really and I tried to guess some storyline but I guess I guess it wrong. The writer is already stated one of the twists actually. If you see the tagline in the cover you must surely think that that is something. This initial twist led into another twist that were very amazing to me. Yeah sometimes the adventure was not adventurous enough but I still found some and I also still found some plot holes, but they were not very that disturbing to me though. Mm, but I am really hoping that for the next book, I got this explanation. This plot hole definitely was not the epilogue. Uh, but the spoiler alert, one thing that I thought this is the plot hole, that if the magician was that good, why did he one day attack and then suddenly missing and then attack again? He could pop up right away, right? And he also knew that Sefa wasn't a major alchemy, he, so he can pop up every time he likes and attack Sefa. But maybe we can find the answer in the next book, I hope. And for the characters itself, I was immediately in love with Sefa and also Rohan. I also like Destry and Henry. I usually didn't like any install of thing, but this thing is an exception. Although it was an installer, but actually uh, did not mean that Sefa and also Rohan was in an immediate relationship. Uh, in their installer, there was a slow burn romance thanks to the magic itself, and it was very realistic in a relationship between man and a woman. This is a young adult story, but I did not dislike the characters. They are very mature as young adults, but yet also very realistic in their age, because what they wanted was to be free of suffering. Mm, their action was not a typical young adult characters to me, although in some chapters I hate, I hate Sefa of being a stubborn woman, a reckless woman that led into a dangerous path, which then she admitted that it was because of her stubbornness, because of her recklessness. For the writing style itself, uh, Samantha had a unique style that I hadn't read before. Her writing was very blunt but true. She used easy sentences, but as a non-native English speaker, I also learned some new sentences and patterns that I hadn't known before. Well, in short, I just love her plan. Smart, smart writing, smart writing style. That's it. I am sorry. It's a bit hard to explain in English, but I like her smart, blunt writing style sentences that he made, that she made in the stories. 
And the other aspects that I like of this uh, book is uh, you can see at the gorgeous cover, very dark but shiny and that there are black snake and golden key at the cover uh, with the gold font title and black cover. I bet that this gold title will be in the gold foil material on the best jacket. We will see, yeah, we'll see. But besides of white, I really love black cover with gold or, or silver, shiny and the cover. I usually didn't like books with me on the cover, but this one is an exception. Uh, I like the snake with the dark color that circling the key. Well, after I searched in the Google that I found the alchemy, always connect always symbolize with snake so yeah this is the the cover itself can portray about alchemy and mix with the magic and what i need now is the hardcover one of this book i hope there will be the hardcover i don't know i searched through book depository and amazing and then i found only about the paperback but i guess there will be hardback book someday and i want to collect this one and also i hope for the sequel of this book so that's why I need to collect this book some of the book quotes that I found on this book which uh, I liked there are three actually I found a lot but these three were ringing to my head every time first uh, the quote said like this then she heard the serious voice you'll be fine and this got me in the you'll be fine part that every uh, risk that you take every uh, problem that you face that someday you'll be fine and also the second uh, quote that I like from this book is it was a risk but it was a risk she needed to take yes it was a risk you need to face the risk you need to take the risk not to forget it because you can't forget it and then the third uh, quote is after a long time we can say we'll make it right Every problem that we face, I, I thought, yeah, like this, every problem that we face, that someday we will make it right. Uh, when we face the risk, we will make it right, so don't worry. And as a conclusion, the message of the story that what I learned from the story is that as a human, sometimes you want to be free from our suffering. The surest path is usually by running away and lying, but then it is not the way. Face and take the risk are what surely be done. And do not forget that the people around you are also there to help with a kind heart. And this book is recommended for the one that love magic and the telling. You should try this one. And in my opinion, for those also of you who like to read Serpent and Dove and also the Cars Breaker series, you need to read this one. Hopefully you can like this book as much as I do. So in the overall, I gave my rating for this book is 4 stars of 5. So what do you think? Have you read this book before? Or will you read this book if you haven't read before? And don't forget to give your like and comment at the comment box below of what do you think of this book. Thank you very much for watching. See you again on my next segment. See you again on my next weekend book talk. And hopefully we can talk about this book in the comment below. Bye-bye.